meteorologist Matt Miller. A lot of heat out ahead of us. It's uh, certainly hot right now today, likely the hottest of the uh, combination of temperature and humidity, but uh, we're still going to hold on to a lot of the heat and a good amount of the humidity tomorrow as well. And it's going to be a hot, humid night. I hate to even call it uh, just even warm because for the majority of the night, it's still going to be rather hot. Temperatures over 90, probably almost till midnight before we finally come down below that level, at least in some areas at least, with southerly wind continuing. And then continued hot through the next several days. We'll climb back over uh, 90 again tomorrow. And then we're looking at maybe some thunderstorms as we head in toward the middle of the week, particularly on Wednesday and a Wednesday night. A chance for some thunderstorms. Mostly clear right now. Junction City as well as Emporia. Hardly even cloud cover out there. Had some earlier, but that is mostly cleared on out and now mainly sunny. Current temperature in Topeka is sitting at 98 with a heat index of 105 degrees. The dew point at 70 and a south wind coming in at 18 miles per hour. 80 for the low, 100 for the high, and it's still spring. Some are not quite here officially, as we're still waiting on that. Uh, just days away, but we're running well above average. 102 at Hayes, 108 right now at North Platte, Nebraska, 96 at Tulsa, Pittsburgh at 93. There's higher humidity, though, that we had yesterday, that extreme humidity we had yesterday evening. That has pushed away to the east slightly. And with temperatures in the upper 90s to 100 at Manhattan, 103 degrees right now at Concordia. And you take another little closer look with a few more locations. We have 101 at Blue Rapids, 99 at Junction City, 99 at Hiawatha. And you tack on that high humidity, which is moderately high in the Manhattan, Fort Riley, Junction City area, and even higher over the eastern counties. And that drives the heat index up to about 100 to 105 over most of the area still at this hour. South winds are helping because the only thing worse than a hot, humid day to have to contend with to trying to cool yourself off is when there's no wind to help your body do a little bit of that cooling. And southerly breezes will certainly help out in that as we'll hold on to those south winds tonight and tomorrow at about that level. Mostly clear sky right now. We're watching for the ridge, which is in place over now the central part of the country. We're on the western edge of it, still holding on to a lot of heat. There's this disturbance over the northern Rockies. It will move more toward the northern plains. May allow for a frontal boundary to get pushed southward toward the region over the next couple of days. It's off to the north of us right now. We'll look for a mostly clear sky for most of the day tomorrow. Now this model is going to be aggressive in getting that front actually getting some thunderstorms on it in the northwestern counties tomorrow. I'm doubtful that we're going to get that in our area. I think it's going to be just a couple counties to the north and northwest of that tomorrow. But what we are looking to be more likely to see as we head into Wednesday are thunderstorms across our area for Wednesday evening and into the first part of Wednesday night. Until then, muggy weather, and after that, it stays muggy. This is not a break from the heat. It's just a chance for a few thunderstorms Wednesday into Wednesday night. As the heat index falls back into the low 80s tonight, we're back to about 100 to 105 for the heat index tomorrow as we start out at 80 with a south wind and top out at 96 with a south-southwest wind picking up to about 15 to 30 miles per hour. Here's a look at the next seven days. We've got a lot of heat still. We cool back after Wednesday from 95 to 92 on Thursday. We are looking at continued south wind, though, and then a little more of a light and variable wind by the end of the week. And then heating back into the mid 90s as south wind strength. And once again, Sunday and on into Monday as that summer type pattern really holding firm. Just a front dropping in on Wednesday gives us a storm chance, but then it retreats back to the north and we're right back where we started. Oh, yeah. Well, we are thankful for the up and down of not wanting to bother this heat. Yeah, you <laughs> like it more than a lot of us do, but yes. uh, the heat is going to win out, it looks like, over yeah. the next several days. I mean, it's almost summer, just like it you said. Is, yeah. Almost there. All right.